Hey everybody, this is Joel and Paul from Moving to Mexico. Bienvenidos a nuestro canal and bienvenidos to the Upper East Side in Bucerias. Hey Paul? We're back. We're back. The Upper East Side. We got some exciting news. Noticias. Yes, updates, huh? Updates. But we are across the street from Joel's wine bar and condos. We just received our permiso, which is our permission, which is the actual permit. And they have this thing called a folio. And the, the folio is what you need. It's this one piece of paper that hat lists all the meters of construction, all the various costs that you were paying as your fee to start construction. And this thing has been avoiding us for months now. Yeah. And uh, my guys would always be calling the director and it would always be this Monday we're, we're going to meet the director and then Tuesday or Wednesday we're going to get the folio. Next week, this Monday we were meeting the director. This Tuesday or Wednesday we're going to get the folio. And like last week, I lost my mind. Yeah. I'm like, guys, if I don't have a folio, meaning permission, by this week, uh -huh. it's over. The relationship's like we're... We're, I, I'm, I'm, I'm finding someone else. Yeah. Like, you're fired. Yeah. You're fired. Permission. So, I almost got hit by the Fruteria truck. What, what he just made me do is... Um, yeah, there's going to be a tope. I'm putting two topes <laughs> there. Thank you, Mr. Fruteria guy. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can see what's behind the Mexican gate. You know, anytime you start excavating, it's huh? like anything can happen. Yeah. You can find dead bodies. Like, you could find bodies. You yeah. could find... All sorts of dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones. Hola. All right, so bienvenidos. Look at that. So actually, over here is my main entrance. Uh huh. And we got renderings now. Oh so yeah. So you can throw the renderings Let's on. Let's right throw now. those up. So you can see that our style for this uh, building is we've gone pretty traditional uh -huh. and we worked a lot on this actually there was a lot of back and forth because we would get something from the architect Jillian would send it back she'd send a color they'd send us a color that wasn't even anything like that color right she would send it back yeah and then we actually took it away from one architect and gave it to another because uh -huh. I was like I was done yeah I'm like and then I cracked all the whips uh -huh. and then bang we, we had it last week uh, so yeah, our main entrance is right here. You walk through the yard, and then Bob and Lynn, my, my in-laws, their their casita's in that corner, mm -hmm. and it uh, opens uh, to our pool, which is, kind of those guys are standing in my pool right now. Okay. Maybe a little on the edge of it. Yeah. And the pool runs along our fence line, and uh, above Bob and Lynn's is Adelaide. She has her own little one-bedroom apartment, and then kind of above that on, because here's the property line. You can see it right here. Um, kind of above that, right over here, is our guest bedroom, like from NJ or anyone else that's coming. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, you kind of walk down, you walk up some stairs this way, Paul. Uh -huh. And then this is kind of like this big steel beam that comes and kind of gives some cover in our courtyard. So uh -huh. we could have a little outdoor sitting area here. And then the pool is on that side. Okay. And then our main living room, our living room, kitchen, everything else is just over there facing into the courtyard. Very cool. So it's all very traditional. It was going to be traditional on the outside, but a little bit more contemporary on the end. So that's this side of the property. That's this and side. And on, on this side. And over then on here. this side, this, uh, from this white line here uh -huh. is where the condos are. Oh, okay. So, uh, and they all, so here's again, there's like courtyard here with like pool. Uh -huh. And then there's parking, there's parking, two parking stalls, two parking garages here. Uh -huh. And then instead of doing more parking, I'm like, we kind of, we kind of expanded the courtyard a little bit. And uh -huh. then we have these beautiful Celestia bricks. So that some, see how the light, the sun is facing this way? Yeah. All that light's going to come through the bricks mm -hmm. and then light up the courtyard. Oh, okay. Because the building's high, right? Yeah. So we could have added more parking or more condos. Right. But instead, I left this one section out. And you can see it on the uh, rendering so that that light now yeah. comes right into the courtyard. Mm -hmm. Then over here on the main floor is going to be the wine bar or the restaurant. Right now, it's just a big pile of dirt. Yeah. 
But what's beautiful about it, and you see the renderings, is it's it, very traditional and it has that corner entrance uh -huh. to like, uh, we can kind of like also expand onto the sidewalk area for a patio. You can come here and just sit, have your glass of wine in the evening, watch the sunset to, to the, uh, the west. Yeah. And I think it's going to be, it's going to be pretty special. No encontraron ningún cuerpos, ¿no? El primo de Chapo, ¿no? No encontraste, ¿no? Um, estos guardan, ¿ok? So what I'm going to do is have them keep these bricks because, mm -hmm. like, I could do like a feature wall uh -huh. somewhere, like in the in the garden areas. Like, I can't use a new brick and make it look like that. Right. But I can use an old brick and it looks antigua, like it, old. It looks like it's been there for a hundred years. That's right. So what is your uh, estimate for having this project finished? I am moving into my house November 1st. Wow. Yes. That's cool. I am like... It's got to happen, I am huh? going to be here all summer. They're going to hate me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? But I'm going to be here every freaking day because crack in the whip. Yeah. Right? Um, I think the condos are probably going to be by the end of the year. Okay. Uh, Good. You know, between these two guys uh, working 24 hours a day, <laughs> these guys <laughs> by November. <laughs> That's such a nice view. Hey? It is. I've been talking now for about three months that the folio has been imminent. Yes. And it's been the same story with that one, right? Yes. Where I'm told it's imminent, it's happening. We've kind of got an approval verbally, mm -hmm. but you still need that paperwork. We can't start because you're just going to have a big close sign like the the municipality comes here and they they tape it shut yeah they just put tape on it yeah and they say clausado and then that's it yeah and then you get a big fine and we don't want to operate that way right so we're still we, well we are always going to do things above board so anyways i had a meeting so i took it away from the guys that were working on it mm -hmm. and they're the ones working on on my property right now okay. i said you guys just focus on this sure don't try to do two at once anymore like just get this one built, yeah. and then I hired a new team to take over the the folio. Okay. So it's already in the city, uh -huh. but I've just brought someone else in who knows their way around, who can get this happening. So okay. I've had a meeting with that lawyer and a new architect, who's Lorena. She's the one who's done all of our renderings. And look at the renderings, Paul. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? And complete contrast to mine. Yeah, it's a beautiful building. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I saw it. I just went, oh, yeah, this looks good. That looks good. Yeah. And the interior shots, and yeah. you know, you look at the little pool area, uh, the restaurant area, it's gonna be, it's gonna be super nice. Yes. And um, so we're quite eager because we already have, it's pretty well sold out. Yeah. Like, so we've have one floor completely sold to one guy, another floor completely sold to another guy, and then my mom took half a floor. So yes. there's only like one condo left on one floor. Yeah. I just want to get this approved, I want to get in the ground, I want to get it done by... By Christmas is going to be hard, but at least something like very substantial to see yeah. by the New Year. Some good progress. Yeah, like meaning everything is almost done. If you are interested in one of those last townhomes, like, uh, get a hold of Daniela. Yeah. And do a reservation. Doesn't It's like 5000 bucks to hold it, and it's fully refundable. So once we get the permissions, you have 14 days after that to confirm your deal at a locked-in price.